All right, so this is page two of 4.4. .4. So we're gonna, we looked at getting common bases and canceling them out and using the one-to-one -one property, but sometimes you can't really get common bases. So um, if, you, uh, if you look at number 23, if you look at that, I mean, how am I gonna get them both to be the same base? It's not gonna be possible. So what we're gonna do is, um, either take the log or the natural log of both sides. And it, it actually doesn't matter, but sometimes it's, it's better to do log, but most of the time we'll do natural log. But on this first one, it's gonna be better to take the log of both sides because you have a base 10 right here. And there's a special property. Whenever you have a uh, log base 10 um, of 10, you just get the exponent right there. It's just gonna be X um, when you simplify it. So that's what we're gonna to wanna to do on the first one. But after that, for the most part, we're gonna be taking the, the natural log of both sides and solving these. Um, and, and on this first one, you could actually do that, but then the, the actual process of solving would uh, be longer. So we're not gonna do that. So here we go. So we're gonna take the uh, log of both sides. So you take log of 10 to the power of X equals, and then we take the log of 3.91 and so it's understood base 10 right here okay so this right here so 10 to what power gives you 10 to the x well that's just kind of silly it's just x so you get x equals log of 3.91 and so that's our exact answer we like that answer but um also it's a lot of times we want to put that into context because if you tell somebody 10 to the power of log of 3.91 equals 3.91. Um, that's not really going to make much sense to them. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and put this in the calculator. So let's see, x is approximately. Let me turn it on. Okay, here we go. So just press the log button. Like I said, if you have a, if you have your phone or whatever, I mean, it should work fine. Your phone should be able to do logs. So uh, 3.91, and so it's about 0.59. It's a little more than 0.59, but it's about 0.59. So if you were to do 10 rates 0.59 right now in your calculator, it would be about 3.91, be around there. Okay, so then uh, 25 is a lot like 23, except that we have a base E. So when you take the natural log, what's nice about that one is that um, the bases match, and so they will. This will go ahead and cancel out right here, and just be x equals the natural log of 5.7. So that's actually that's kind of nice, you know, how that happens there. Once again, if you were to take the log of both sides, you could actually still solve the problem, but it, there would be a lot more work to be done. Here we're done; it's over with. Um, but we do want to get an approximation. So let's see, we're doing, this time I'm doing natural log, so I gotta hit the LN button. 5.7, and you should have this on your phone calculator also. And so let's see, 1.74. So let's see, 1.74 approximately. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna do a couple more of these. I'll probably just finish this page. Um, all right, so moving on. Well, real quick, before I move on, we're about to use this property. And just remember that property where you can bring the power out in um, front of your uh, log or natural log. And so we're about to see that property on this next problem. Okay, so here, you could do log or natural log, but we'll do natural log. Um, it's a little less messy if you do natural log. There's just less writing on your page. So it um, gives you a little bit more room to do stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, I, this doesn't cancel out. I cannot cancel out natural log and base five because they don't match. This has a base E. So the, the only way that works on the previous two problems is when these two things match. They don't match. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the X out here. So now I'm gonna have X uh, times the natural log of X. I'm sorry. That should be a five. Let me fix that. An eraser. There we go. Okay. So 
So that should be a five right there. And then natural log of 17. And then we're almost done. Now we'll divide by the natural log of five on both sides. That cancels. So X is equal to the natural log of 17 over the natural log of five. And so that's an exact answer. But once again, if somebody probably wouldn't know what you're talking about. So we're gonna get an estimation. So let's see, when we put this in the calculator, let's, we're gonna do natural log of 17, close that parentheses, divided by the natural log of five, close that parentheses, okay, there we go. And we press enter. So we get 1.76. Uh, 1.76. So if you were to do five raised to 1.76, it'd be about 17. That's what that tells us. Okay, so we'll do just a few more. Um, so if you look at 29, um, if you look back at the directions on how to do these, you need to isolate the uh, the base and the exponent before you start doing start the process. So on this one right here, you've got to um, divide both sides by five to get the the base e and the exponent isolated. So e to the power of x equals 23 divided by 5. And then now we basically do the same thing we just did on the previous problem. But actually, this one's going to be nice since it's base e, because when I do natural log of e to the power of x, that'll simplify really nicely. Then over here, I have natural log of 23 over 5. So this cancels, and so I'm left with x is equal to the natural log of 23 over 5, and then an estimation of that. Let's get that in the calculator. So let's see, natural log of 23 divided by 5, and so 1.53. So we got to round that up to 1.53. So 1.53. Okay, so when you're doing your homework, it's going to ask you for both these answers, by the way. So it's going to be asking you to uh, put the exact answer, and then also it's going to tell you to round it to decimal places. On the exam, I'll be asking for the two decimal places right here. Okay, We've got two more. Okay, so 31 is a lot like the one we just did. So we're going to start by dividing by 3, divide by 3. So we're going to get e to the power of 5x equals it's like 659, I think, but let, I got to double check. I don't want to be wrong, so let's see. 659, okay, there we go. So 659, and so now we'll take the natural log of both sides. Natural log of 659. Um, so on the left side, this is nice. This just cancels out. And so we're left with 5x equals, and then we got natural log of 659. And um, so before you put that in the calculator, we'll go ahead and divide by 5 here to go ahead and completely isolate our variable that we're trying to solve for. And so we end up with x is equal to the natural log of 659 all divided by 5, and then we'll figure out our estimate. So let's see, um, natural log of 659, close that parentheses, and then divided by just 5. So one point, that's actually going to round up to 1.30, okay? So that 8 rounded the 9 up, to a 10, which basically then rounded the two up to a three. So that's what happened there. Okay, so we got one more to go. Uh, this one, look, our base is already isolated, so we're actually, we're good to go on this. So we're gonna take the natural log of both sides. Natural log of 793. Okay, so then this cancels out, and we're again going to get 1 minus 5x. So it's getting a little glitchy again. And then let's see, now we have natural log of 793. Okay, 
And so then what we want to do next is uh, solve for x before you do anything with the calculator, okay? So you just got to be a little careful with this. Just realize natural log of 793, it's just a number. It's just a number, okay? Um, we don't know what that number is yet, but we, we don't want to put it in the calculator yet because we want to get exact answers first. So we subtract by 1, okay? So then we're going to have negative 5x equals, and so then we're going to have natural log of 793 minus 1, okay? And then um, we'll divide the whole thing by negative 5. Okay, and so that's our exact answer right there. X equals natural log of 793 minus 1 all over negative 5. So you are going to have to be a little careful when you put this in the calculator. If you don't put it in just right, it's going to come out wrong. Okay, so I want you all to be careful with this. So uh, what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to put a bracket here and a bracket here. So when I put this in the calculator, I need to put those there as I'm doing it. So clear this out. So I'm going to do parentheses, okay? And then I'm going to have a natural log of 793. Close it. Then I have the minus 1. And then I close my parentheses for my numerator. So my numerator is all in parentheses, okay? Then that whole thing gets divided by negative 5. Make sure you use the negative key and not the minus key, okay? Um, and here we go. So negative 1.14. Uh, so negative 1.14. And so that's our answer for that one, okay? All right, so that's uh, page 2 of 4.4.